Oh, hello. Today I'm going to be telling a story of an epic hero named Beowulf, who killed many monsters, including Grendel, Grendel's mother, and a fire-breathing dragon. Now, let's get on with the story, shall we? Grendel, whose home is made in hell, was conceived by a pair of monsters born of Cain. The powerful monster which lived in darkness was impatient because of the constant loudness coming from Herod. He planned to attack the men only at nightfall, when their drinking was done. In the middle of their slumber, he barged into the hall, snatching men and slaughtering them one by one. He found great pleasure in this, because no one could defeat him. Or so he thought. <coughs> However, Beowulf, the strongest of the Geats and stronger than anyone in this world, heard about the horror Grendel was bringing to Herod. He demanded a boat so he could be sent to Herod and help Hothgar and his people. Help, Hrothgar, my mighty king. I have heard of the herbless knights Grendel has brought to you and your people, and I wish to put an end to it. I have the strength and experience to defeat this monster, so I ask you, please, grant me this quest. I hate to tell you there's been too much damage to repair. But I accept your request. Now let's celebrate in your honor. Aha! All of a sudden, with revenge being her motive, Grendel's mother smashed through Herod, killing one victim, Hothgar's best friend, and escaped. Without a word, they will dove into the lake to find the mother of Grendel and hope to finish it all. Years go by, and in Hrothgar's passing, Beowulf becomes king of the Geats and rules for 50 years. Hail Beowulf! All of a sudden, one day, a dragon begins terrorizing the Geats out of anger from a thief who stole from his hidden treasure. Beowulf, now an old wise man, takes the challenge of fighting it. Like to go to battle with Beowulf. 
But when the time came, you all sat there, left him wounded, lying there, dying, your king, the one you swore to protect. You ran away like a wet dog when the time called for it. I'd rather die fighting than run away like you did. Break the code. I would never live with that dishonor. You are not welcome here anymore. We don't need cowards like you anymore who can't keep a code. Away! Banished! You're no use anymore. You're cowards. I had a son, I would leave my arm and crown with him. Lived a happy life. I'm content with fate taking me now. Wiggle off. Quickly. Run. I want to see all of his treasures before I leave this world. Yes, my lord. Wiggle off took off as fast as he could to find his king's treasure. All of the mighty gold he found was just so overwhelming that he took all that pleased him and brought it back to his king. All at once, peace was again found in Herod. Beowulf had ended that fire-spitting terror that once guarded such precious treasure. And peace went throughout the world. And that concludes our story. Till next time.